Understanding Implantation Bleeding versus Periods Hello everyone! Today we're going to delve into a question that can often puzzle women. Can implantation bleeding be mistaken for a period? This is particularly important for those trying to conceive or those trying to better understand their menstrual cycle. What is implantation bleeding? Implantation bleeding is a light spotting that can occur in a woman's menstrual cycle. This typically happens when the fertilized egg, or embryo, attaches itself to the lining of the uterus. This process can cause a small amount of blood to be shed, which can result in bleeding. It's important to note that not all women experience implantation bleeding and its absence does not necessarily indicate a failed pregnancy. How is implantation bleeding different from a period? Though implantation bleeding and a menstrual period both involve bleeding, they have several key differences. Timing. Implantation bleeding occurs about 6 to 12 days after ovulation or about a week before your period is due, whereas menstrual bleeding typically occurs 14 days after ovulation. Color. The blood from implantation bleeding can be lighter in color, often pinkish or brownish, while menstrual blood is usually bright or dark red. Flow. Implantation bleeding is usually spotting or light bleeding. In contrast, menstrual bleeding is heavier and can last several days. Associated symptoms. Cramping can occur with both implantation bleeding and menstrual periods, but the cramps that come with menstruation are typically more intense. Some women also experience mild symptoms with implantation such as a slight increase in basal body temperature or fatigue. Due to these differences, implantation bleeding can indeed be mistaken for a period, especially for women with irregular cycles or light menstrual flow. Should you see a doctor? If you're experiencing bleeding and you're unsure if it's implantation bleeding or a period, it might be a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider. They can provide more specific advice and, if necessary, perform tests to determine whether or not you're pregnant. If you're trying to conceive, bleeding outside of your normal menstrual cycle can be a sign of early pregnancy. If the bleeding is heavy, accompanied by pain, or you are not sure, always seek medical advice. In conclusion, implantation bleeding can be easily mistaken for a period due to its timing and the fact it involves bleeding. However, Paying close attention to the timing, color, flow, and any associated symptoms can help distinguish between the two. Remember, when in doubt, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider. I hope this video has been helpful and has shed some light on this often confusing topic. Until next time, take care.